Well, greetings everybody. June 5th. And Christopher and his son Pavian are right around this corner right here. There's a nice quartz vein. And he looked underneath a rock that's propped up, a big boulder that's propped up over the top of it. And of course a cavity. And then you see the quartz vein. And it, it looked like it could have had gold in it. Any way you moved your head, it was still shiny. So he's trying to break that out. Now me, last year you saw me crevicing over here and did really well so now there was a bat up in here if any of you saw that video i'm gonna try to uh move some of this material because this is a uh it looks to be a bedrock bowl so who knows what's underneath all this stuff so i want to get some of these boulders move and just at least test it and see so i'll let you know Well, so far, I broke that piece out of there, which is where I worked last year, this whole area. All this had big pieces, small pieces, and those of you who saw that video know I did really well here. And I'm seeing more, perhaps, over the winter made it easier for me to break more out. But last year, I pretty much brought it as far as I could, but I got that one out of there. And there's still material down in the bottom of that hole, real rusty looking. So I'm going to keep plugging away. I've already seen gold in the pan. And Christopher's over there doing his thing. He's getting gold. Tavian, he's pretty much taking a day off. Good for him. <laughs> Relax. Enjoy. Go for a swim. <laughs> All right. We'll catch you in a bit. Okay, so I'm four pin, uh, four pans in out of this hole over here, just this little area. Put it in the pan, panned it back, filled it up, put it in the pan, panned it back, filled it up, so on and so forth. And I just panned it all the way back. That's just four pans. Funny how the red rocks work the best. I don't think that's focusing right. Not too shabby. Keep going as long as my back lets me. It's starting to scream at me. Back in a bit. So we're not going to know what Christopher has for the day because he's just collecting concentrate so he's got something to run tomorrow at the house. <laughs> Somebody gave me hell about not being patient on yesterday's video. <laughs> I figured I got to show I got a little bit of patience. Yeah. So he don't even know what kind of gold he got. That's a nice... You dug out that pocket up there? Yeah. This is my fourth bucket. Brick rock. Right up where that placer tool is. There's a pocket right in there. Was that full of material? Yeah, I followed that. I used to have placer tools because I've I tested the depths and everything. And I'd be able to tell, okay, I'm going too far in an area where there's no black too. But there was black sand in it? No, it would tell me where, I, where the black sand ended. When I was going into a crevice, oh, there's no black sand at all. Huh. Rinse it off, find out, oh, there's black sand here in my crevice, so I can follow the right crevice. Yeah. You got rocks going every which way. Yeah, I'll have to check out those. I'm going to have to find out from John where you guys can get those placer tools, the magnetic probe. But they're only like 15, 20 bucks. So it's, it's, a, it's a good tool to have in your arsenal. I showed it on yesterday's video. Yeah. So I'll find that out for you guys, all my subscribers, everybody who watches. Back in a bit. Alright, so they're still over there. We're going to be picking up here pretty quick. But <laughs> Tavian slipped and went in the water. Trying to grab a stick. <laughs> but the water's really warm here, so 
no big deal. Well, just crevicing, I pulled out those three rocks and a bunch of small ones. Got that, one of the big ones came out from back there, another one, I don't remember where. Sucked out the bottom of the, uh, the holes with the uh, syringe that Christopher gave me. Works pretty good. I think I want to cut the tip back further though so it's a bigger, bigger hole. But, just crevicing. And there's pieces, there's micro dots down here even. I'm happy with it. My back's not happy with it. <laughs> That's not an easy place to work. Your feet are all pinched in little holes and you're bent over and boy, but it's still fun. So, I thank you all for watching another adventure of Green Mountain Gold Trap. Good company, Christopher and Tavian. Thank all my subscribers and those of you who have not, you might want to consider doing so because every now and then I give away 23 inch pay streak finders to my subscribers, those who have um, public subscriptions, I guess that's what it's called. You share your subscriptions, they're public, not private. And once I reach 1,000 subscribers, I will be giving away 23 inch pay streak finder, the next generation, made out of polycarbonate. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And leave a comment. I try to answer everyone. Take care.